friends this video on physical world part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com no more fear from exams please make sure that you have watched physical world part 1 and 2 before you go ahead with part 3 when we talk of physics it is very important to talk about force so what is force Force is a push or pull that can cause an object to change its velocity or shape. So what do we mean by push or pull? It is something like, let us suppose we have a, say a book here. This is a book or rather say this is your physics book. You are standing somewhere here. This is push. When you apply a force in this direction, you are pushing this book. When I say pull, it is something like you are bringing the book nearer to you. So this is push and this is pull. Correct? So, force is a push or pull that can cause an object to change its velocity or shape. These are the three key terms here. Push or pull, change in velocity or shape. We will see example of both the scenarios. Let us consider the first scenario where you apply a push or pull and there is a change in velocity. Oh, this is our Ronnie. So here is Ronnie with his football. So what we see? Ronnie is kicking the football. So he is pushing the football and the football changes its velocity. How come? Earlier the football was at rest. But now the football moved. That means the velocity was earlier zero. This was the initial velocity. But after the push, the velocity was some value, say V. That means there was a change in velocity when Ronnie pushed the football. Now we'll see the next scenario. That is change in shape. That means when you push or pull an object, there is a change in shape of the object. For example, now Ronnie has a balloon. Let us say this is a balloon. Now this is a wall which is quite firm. Now Ronnie is pushing this balloon. What do we see? The balloon gets compressed. That is, there is a change in shape of the balloon. Correct. Earlier the balloon was somewhat like this. Later it became somewhat like this. So the change in shape occurred due to the push given by Ronnie. So, I hope it is very clear now that force is a push or pull that can cause a change in velocity or shape of an object. <clears throat> very simple, right? Okay. So now we'll proceed further and we'll study the types of forces. Well, broadly, we classify force into two types. <clears throat> the first is fundamental forces. And the second is derived forces. Now, fundamental forces. As the name suggests, fundamental means the basic forces. These forces exist in nature on their own. They naturally existed in nature. So, the fundamental forces are the basic forces and they naturally existed in the universe. Nobody derived them from something. Whereas the derived forces as the name suggests, derived means generated from something else. Derived forces, they actually originate from fundamental forces. 
करेक्ट सो फंडामेंटल फोर्सेस आर दो फोर्सेस विच ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टेड इन नेचर ऑन देयर ओन वेर एज द डिराइव फोर्सेस आर दो फोर्सेस विच ओरिजिनेट फ्रॉम द फंडामेंटल फोर्सेस नाउ वी विल सी द टाइप्स ऑफ फंडामेंटल फोर्सेस actually there are four types there are four fundamental forces that exists in nature so we will see what are the four fundamental forces the gravitational force the electromagnetic force the strong nuclear force and the weak nuclear force so these are the four fundamental forces so other than these four types of forces any other force which we see around us they are all derived forces only these four forces existed in nature on their own now let us see one or two examples of derived forces frictional force spring force muscular force and etc if you want you can name hundreds and hundreds of derived forces because whatever we see around us they are all derived force except these four everything else is a derived force now in this lesson we will focus our study on the fundamental forces so we will discuss in detail each of these four types of forces so let us start the discussion one by one thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again